for the following exercises, determine whether the relation represents a function. All right, so firstly, let's just make sure we, we are good with the definitions of relation and function. So quickly at the bottom, a relation is simply a set, meaning a certain number of ordered pairs. So let's take a look at the first example. How many ordered pairs do we have here? Well, we have three, one, two, three, All right? This consists then of a set, a certain number of ordered pairs. So at a minimum, this is a relation. Okay, then let's take a look at the, de the definition for the function, right? A function is a set of ordered pairs now, x, y. So it's basically saying it's a relation, but there's an extra condition in which each x cannot have more than one y. So basically what, we're, what we are after here is we're gonna highlight the x values of our ordered pairs. So here's an x value, here's an x, and here's an x. All right, remember the ordered pairs are always written x comma y. So all we need to do now is simply investigate whether these x values have been repeated, aka duplicated or not. All right, if none of, the, if none of these x values are the same, then it's a function, all right? If it were to repeat, for example, if this five were let's say a three, then it is not a function anymore. It's as simple as that in terms of recognizing functions given a certain set of ordered pairs, all right? So this thing right here is indeed a function. You could also, I mean, I don't know why you would do this to yourself unless you wanted to torture yourself. You could also graph this thing, right? You could graph or plot these ordered pairs. You know, you'd go three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, and you plot this point. Then you do four, five, okay? So that would be about here. Right, and then you do would and then you would do five and six and then that would be about there so then you would realize oh this thing is looking like a straight line oh i could do the vertical line test right i can draw now a vertical line through this little graph and see if it intersects it more than once and it doesn't right any vertical line i draw does not intersect it more than once and therefore according to that vertical line test we pass it and we can call this then a function so you can do these problems in a bunch of ways, but we get the same answer. Let's do the next example the easier way. What do you say? So just highlight the x values. Here's the x, here's the x, here's the x, here's the x. Are any of them the same? Yes, yes, right? There is one of them that is the same. It's the seven. So once x repeats, whoops. Once x repeats, we can conclude it is then not, not a function. It's still a relation, all right, because a relation at a at the bare minimum is just simply a certain number of ordered pairs. So we have four ordered pairs. It's a relation, but this relation is not a function because the x repeats. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Please remember to subscribe. See you next time.